Well, the Labour Court has ordered Angler Gold Ashanti to reinstate 539 workers who are members of trade union AMCU. AMCU says this is a victory for the workers who are protesting against unfair labour practices. The miners were fired two years ago for protesting against working long hours and not being compensated for working on weekends. The Labour Court ruled that the workers were procedurally and substantively unfairly dismissed. The judge ordered Anglo Gold Ashanti to reinstate them immediately and pay them 12 months' salary in compensation. Amku called on the company to honour the judgment without any delay. Remember, it was a strike and subsequently they were dismissed. So now we have to go back to the drawing board and deal with the issues that led them to partake in the strike. Amku says it is waiting for the outcome of the appeals court involving Anglo Gold Ashanti and Harmony before deciding on a way forward regarding a wage dispute. The union intends to resume wage talks with Sibanyo Gold only next year but stressed that it is still demanding a salary increase of 12,500 across the board in the gold sector. The union has not ruled out the possibility of a strike next year if its demands are not met. Last month, NUM, UASA and Solidarity signed a 6% wage deal in the mining sector. Naledi Mulifi, SABC News, Johannesburg.